make this video i'm super excited to share my story i'm gonna start here in my living room because this is basically where i was on labor i was on labor here and then the kitchen back there um because i was on labor for a week y'all know i was in padroma labor if you didn't know uh follow me on instagram i had padroma labor for like a week and they were such hard contractions i just knew I was and the only thing that helped was when mate um a, a doula here in the um area um in the dallas area she pressed on my ligaments that were tight in my uterus so like down here my ligaments were really really tight and um basically what was probably happening was that my ligaments were so tight so it stopped my my service from being able to connect to nunu's head like to where she was gonna come out and so that's why my body was trying to make it happen but my uterus was like uh, nope we're too tight because of stress it happens because of stress so anyways she came over um and i'm gonna show you where she had she i laid on my bed <laughs> right here excuse everything those are my goals that i put on there you guys shh, shh, shh. uh i put on my wall next to my my where i sleep but i lay right here and um i'm gonna go in this other room i lay right there and she pressed her and my midwife pressed on my my ligaments and my uterus and they just if you press them lightly they'll just kind of like not pop but I don't want to say disintegrate, just like loosen. I can't think of another word, but um, they can actually feel them like I felt it. I actually um, on one of them. But after she did that, I started having contractions that were more consistent and then more consistent. But at that point, I didn't know if it was real because I had been having them consistent and then they would stop. So um, yeah, so I just was kind of in labor the whole day, right? So I was right here actually when I called session. I was holding on to this this part of the couch on that Thursday, which was, was yesterday, two weeks from the day. I was holding on and I said, come home. The kids are crazy. I'm having heart contractions. You have to come home. So I didn't know if it was real, but I was just like, I don't know if it's real or not, but you got, you're going to have to come on home and just going to have to start your paternity leave now. <laughs> so um, he came home. He ended up coming home getting uh our oldest uh from school coming home and yeah they they were with me uh, he was with me uh he took her to practice and my mother-in-law came and i was having contractions hard contractions they weren't stopping but they weren't necessarily close together yet so i remember my couch was my cat this couch was like we separated sometimes and it was separated and um my midwife and uh her birth assistant they came by and uh, to check me and stuff to see what's going on and i was standing here right here holding on to the i guess that's what i do when i'm having a contraction holding on to the back of the couch because it was so hard okay so that was about eight o'clock um she checked me on my bed right here um and i was four centimeters i can't remember if she told me how much i was a face i can't i don't think i don't think so um, but I was four centimeters then, and that was eight o'clock. So the whole night I was, I was, this is what I was doing. <laughs> I was here on my bed, you guys. Okay. So this is like my, my station for, for Nuno during the nighttime now. <laughs> but, uh, I was on the bed right here and Stetson was here and I just kept having contractions, contractions, contractions. Um, and I just kept kind of timing them. And what I would do is that I figured I was in labor, but I wasn't far along for her to come. So, um, okay, you guys, shh, shh, remember mommy said, I would get in the tub. They're in the tub. My kids. Oh, ah! But um, I would get in the tub to take, to like take the contractions in the water. And then I would get out when they were, when they were finished. Then I would lay down right here and try to get some rest. Um, I kept... Let me go in the other room. I kept doing that. I kept doing it over and over and over. Um, because that was the way I was able to handle it. So I could let Stefan sleep. Because it was really late at night. Uh, I want to say it was about, I don't know. From th that point on, it kept getting worse, right? So I think it was like, I don't know, maybe around 2 or something when I finally woke him up. Okay? Maybe 2 or 3. <laughs> Contractions kept coming. I kept doing that cycle. Bathtub, when I, when I feel the contraction coming, hit the bathtub. 
push my head against the wall. <laughs> um, then I would go back to the bed, right? Okay. Then I would rest. And um, it just kept happening. Then at a certain point, they were coming too fast. And I was like, uh-oh, I think this might be kind of close, right? So they were coming so close. I said, Stephen, come on, you don't have to wake up. Um, and you know, just check check me and see what, what the time is that they're coming because they need to come like about five minutes apart, you know. Um, so he did that. Then I said, Call Bethany. And since I couldn't call her, that was another sign that this is it. That was 4 30. So she, well, I think first, I think Mozik came first. Yes, Mozik came first. And I was on the bed in here, and I couldn't go back to the bathtub anymore. Okay, you guys, I'm coming back in here. Okay, you guys, I'm coming back in here. Quiet voices. Okay. I was on right here on the bed, and I had a pillow here, okay? I, I wish I had, could have recorded, but it was dark. It was going so fast, and I couldn't, but I wanted to, so I wanted to give you like a play-by-play. -play. She came in the door, right? And, um... She was standing here. She says, "Okay, I'm putting the I'm putting the water in the tub." And I said, "Don't even worry about it. We're not gonna have time. The baby's coming so fast." So she said, "No, it won't take long." But I knew um, because I was having contractions too fast. So then um, she came. Then I think Bethany came. I can't remember if Bethany came or Becky. Bethany is my midwife. Becky is the other birth assistant. So um, they both came. And I, she said it was about 4.30 that time. I didn't know. Um, I was laboring. I had my head. I was pulling my hair. I remember I was pulling my hair because it was hurting. And I had to pull something. And then I just kept coming, coming, coming. And I was just like, oh, gosh, you guys. This baby has got to get out of me. She's causing me too much pain. <laughs> so um, they are like, you can do it, which is such an amazing thing because it's like women are cheering me on that I can do something that my body was created to do. And it's the most amazing thing because it bonds us, you know? It actually has bonded me with them for life because they were there at the birth of my child in my own house. And for them to tell me I can do it, for them to push me on, for them to take care of me when I'm at my weakest and strongest moment, it's the most amazing thing. So... Anyways, I was, was going really fast, like I said. I felt like I had the boo-boo. Okay, so before that, every time that I've gone into labor or whatever, they always check me throughout labor to see the centimeters. Like if I'm 8 centimeters, 9, 10, okay, it's time to push. Well, Beth, um, Bethany was like, no, I don't have to do that. You'll know when to push. Your body will tell you. So I didn't quite believe her, but I trusted her, and I felt it. And so I pushed down, and I was just like, oh, no, I think I'm going to have poop in my bed. <laughs> so let me move. Let me do something. I can go put something out of me. I don't know something. I'm going to poop in my bed. So Bethany was like, you want to go to the you wanna go to the toilet? And I said, yes, because I know something's going to come out. <laughs> so anyways, I go in here, right? So I'm sitting on the bed. I'm sitting on the bed right here. And I'm like, I have to poop. I walk to the bed. So, I sit right here on my toilet. Right here. You guys, okay, mommy telling a story. No, don't use that. Put that back. Don't use that. That's dirty. Um, I'm sitting here on the toilet and I'm holding Stephanie's hand. Or I tried to grab his hand here, but I remembered that if the contraction was coming, I might hurt him. So I grabbed his pocket and I pushed because I'm like, I gotta get something out. When I pushed y'all, I was sitting here, I felt Nuno's head right there. And I was like, oh no, I know this feeling. The baby's going to come out. So then Bethany, she runs in. She's like, okay, okay. So then I stand up just like this. I think Mozique said, is she cramming? And I said, uh, no, uh, Bethany said no. But I said, I got to get this baby out with this push. I'm not going to keep pushing. I don't want another contraction. I'm done having, I'm done and being like, <laughs> So, so then I push, push really, really, really hard, and then out comes Nuno, 
Bethany puts her on my um, chest. Um, and there she is. And she was born. Then, of course, they helped me to the bed. And, um, yeah, they helped me to the bed. And, um, you know, stuff is coming out. You know, blood, whatever. I don't even know what comes out. I'm guessing blood. I don't know if something else comes out. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about my water breaking. My water doesn't break until while I'm in labor. And it, it just happens. It basically it just it just pops out. <laughs> and um, I forgot about that uh, detail. But, yeah, it just happened during labor when I was having a contraction. And that was it. It just came out. Um, but, yeah, so back to her. They put me. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm scaring her. I put, they put her on my, um, I was holding her, I got on the bed, and, um, Stetson ended up cutting her umbilical cord, I was scared, cause I thought he was gonna cut my baby, cause it was so close, and I was like, ah! <laughs> but, of course, he didn't, they were taking, they were, they were making sure, you know, he was good, and the baby was good, and, um, yeah, it was a great, 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 great experience, um, afterwards, I was right here in the tub, we, they moved this couch out. They made me a tub because remember I didn't never I never made it to the tub. Oh, uh, so they made a tub for me with these healing herbs, and then me and Nuno sat in the tub. And while we sat in the tub, they cleaned up my house, my house, and like where I threw up because I threw up a lot <laughs> because I kept eating. All right, so I threw up a lot during labor also, and they cleaned up that. They cleaned up the blood that it happened to be on my bed. Um, they cleaned up. They cut up my placenta because I've been taking my placenta smoothie, which I'm, I need to take my placenta smoothie today. But it was just an amazing experience, and I want everyone to experience it. I want everyone to have Bethany as their midwife and um, for them to experience what Abide is wants to give women who just want to make their own choice for their own birth. It means our babies, our bodies. You know, we have so many other choices of doing other things with our bodies of even birth control, you know, but when it comes to birth, it's like, it's just like we have no control, you know, and it's crazy. So very grateful for the experience, very grateful for the bonds that I created, very grateful for my baby, her so, her so cute. <laughs> and um, I just want to share this with you. So I'm posting this today. Two weeks postpartum, two week old baby, and all them crazy kids in the background. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you are in this area and you want to do a home birth, please contact Bethany. Um, I'll leave her email. Yeah, I thought that was a, a spider, spider web, but I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> I'll leave her email in the description box. And um, yeah. Contact her, and when I put this um, also on Instagram, I'll leave it on there, too. So, All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have done a home birth, if you want to do a home birth, or if you have any questions, email me, and I'll be glad to answer and talk to you. Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. Bye, y'all.